All right, we are going to start with our <laughs> pronoun song. Ready? The Songs for Speech Therapy and ELD with me, Miss Emily. Today we're going to learn about he, she, it, and they. These words help us talk about a lot of different things. To talk about a boy, we start with he. He is right there. To talk about a girl, we start with she. She is right there. To talk about a thing that's not a boy and not a girl, something like a phone, we say it. It is right there. To talk about more than one thing or more than one person, we start with they. They are right there. Now let's learn a song to help us remember everything we just learned. Come sing after me. For a boy say All right, so that was a review on our pronouns that we're using. And right now, we are only using he or she. I think later on we'll be using some other pronouns, but for just talking about our characters or our supporting characters, it's only going to be he or she, depending if it's a boy or a girl. All right, so you should have your paper in front of you where you did your drawing and then you wrote your three or four adjectives describing what your supporting character is. All right, so. All right, so please have this in front of you. And when you get to it, turn the page. I kind of snuck in here and I redrew my character because I want, can you hear that? <laughs> Somebody's blowing their leaves outside. And it's loud, it's like right up against my house. I don't know why they're there. Okay. Oh boy, all right, tell me to focus. Say focus, focus, everybody focus. All right, so this is Squirrely and I made him a little bit more fluffy this time. And that's okay because I, when you do it the second time, sometimes you wanna make a few changes. That's all right. So my character, Squirrely. I'm going to turn it into sentences. And it seems like this is kind of fuzzy. A little bit better. Okay. So kind of like how I've been starting off all the other ones, like this is, I kind of name the character right away. I introduce the readers to my supporting character or my other character. All right. So we said for the other ones, this is, hmm, this is fluffy. This is Cuddles, 
Who was this? This is squirrely. So let's think about the word this. Do you remember how to spell it? It's kind of like the, the digraph. Hmm, what digraph says that? Hmm. You see it? Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Look before I touch it. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Right there. This. Okay. This. This is squirrely. I have spelled is so many times. Have you spelled is that many times? How do you spell it? You're so smart. Help me out. Yeah, I S. This is squirrely. Squirrely. Let's see. It's a name. So I'm going to capitalize that. S Q U R L E. I just wanted to make sure I spelled it the same. Make sure I am focused. This is squirrely. Er this is squirrely. Okay. What about squirrely? Hmm. I know that I said squirrely was a boy. Do you remember what pronoun I use for a boy? Huh. Maybe the leaf blower upstairs knows. Can you hear it? Shh, listen. Did you hear it? Maybe he would know. Wait. He. He, I did see him outside, it's a boy, he. Is that a pronoun for a boy? He, <gasps> e, I can hear two sounds, but because I know it's a power word, I'm going to check just to make sure. He, <sighs> let's just start with H, hmm. had, here, has, have, he. Nice job. He. H E. Every sentence starts with a capital. He. This is squirrely. He. Mm, what could I use? He is. Yeah. But if we're describing what he looks like, he's also fluffy. So I could probably put those together because they both describe what he looks like. He is red and fluffy. I can use and to combine two adjectives. He is, I don't even need to know to ask you. Somebody just told me, because you know how to spell is. He is red and fluffy. So I'm gonna look right here. Since I already did this work, he is red and and, hmm, hmm, I think that's it. He is red and fluffy. Fluffy. He is red and fluffy. Okay, what else? He is red and fluffy. Oh, hungry and fast. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I'm done with this sentence. Why? What does it need? Oh, er, I forgot my period, thank you. He is red and fluffy. Oh, okay, so I did red, I did fluffy. Hungry. Mm, yeah. He's hungry. He's a hungry squirrel, right? Mm. This is squirrely. He is red and fluffy. Ooh, hungry. Hmm, how can I say sentence to honor by hungry? He is hungry? Yeah, that makes sense. We already know he and is. It's okay to use a pronoun again. He is. Got my finger space. Hungry. He is hungry. 
Am I done? I could put and fast. He is hungry. They don't really go together. The way his belly is and how he moves, those are kind of two different things. So I'm just gonna stop with he is hungry. All right, so this is squirrely. He is red and fluffy. He is hungry. I want to say he again. Maybe he said that twice. I think I'm going to use the squirrel's name, Squirrely. So Squirrely is, I used hungry, a fast squirrel. I like that. So Squirrely, Squirrely is a fast. I did the work. Fast squirrel. Hmm, I kind of spelled squirrel right there. I just don't need the E at the end. It's a fast squirrel. Squirrely is a fast squirrel. That's it. I'm done with that sentence. I used red, fluffy, hungry, and fast. All right, when you're done writing, now is the time to get out the writing checklist. All right, let's see. Hmm. Ooh, wiggly, are you ready? Use capital letters to start your sentence. So let's look. What? what? Is this a capital T? Nope, it is not. Oh boy, what should I do? How do I fix this? Oh, just erase it. Got a little bit of eraser left. It's okay to make mistakes. That's why pencils come with erasers. Because that's how you learn. All right, capital letter to start my sentence. Is this sentence good? This is squirrely. Yep. Okay. Punctuation. All right, so that's ready. This is squirrely. That's a ready one. Hmm, still on capital letters. He. This is the beginning of his next sentence. Is that a capital? Absolutely. He is red and fluffy. And there's my period. So I know the next word is a new sentence. He. Is that a capital? No. I missed one again. Wow, it's a good thing I have this writing checklist. And a little bit of an eraser left. That's okay. He is hungry. Squirrel, capital S, yes, I got one, is a fast squirrel. Okay. Did I use punctuation at the end? Well, you reminded me about that one. So I have one after that sentence. Excuse me. I have one after this sentence. I have one after this sentence. And I have one after this sentence. Whew. Got those. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Did I use finger spaces? Mm hmm I can look right away. I use lots of finger spaces. Yay. Did I use neat handwriting on the line? Look carefully. I don't want any ghost letters. I think I'm good. Did I spell power words correctly? This and is, he is red and, oh, wait, this is Anne. Red and fluffy? I wanted and, and. Let me go back and check to make sure. And, oh, I forgot the D. D, whew, that was close. So I'm gonna add my D in there to make sure it says and fluffy. D spelled right is, is an A. Yeah, a lot of is. <laughs> All right, reread your sentence make sure it makes sense. One more time, authors, always read it over when you, th when you think you're done. This is Squirrely. He is red and fluffy. He is hungry. Squirrely is a fast squirrel. Does that make sense? It sure does. All right, so that is what I want you to do. I want you 
to take your work from yesterday, do your final drawing of the character, make sure it's perfect the way you want it to be. And then I want you to turn these adjectives into your sentences. Right? Make sure you're using the correct pronoun. If it's a boy character, you use the word he. Good job. If it's a girl character, you use the word she. Perfect. And those are power words, so they need to be spelled correctly. All right. Then when you're done writing, make sure you use your checklist to make sure it is perfect first grade writing. All right. Then take a picture of your finished project, of your drawing and your sentences, and turn it in. All right. Then you are done for writing for today. So turn them into sentences. Check your work. You've got it. You're amazing authors. I know you can do this, All right? First grade rocks, and that means you rock. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you later, alligators.